coming up on Look Today. Well, the village of South Glens Falls fails to qualify for state funding for water infrastructure changes. I've got details. And Caitlin's Corner, an enhanced playground, opens up in Gavin Park in Wilton. I've got those details. Plus, Silk and Satin 5K Run raises funds for the Special Olympics. And it's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. In tonight's program, I sit down with Jerry Carlson. He's the Chief of Forest Health for the Department of Environmental Conservation of New York. And he's here to talk about the issue of invasive species in our area. Great interview. I also sit down with Diane Labruzzo. She's the President and Artistic Director of the Adirondack School of Ballet. And she's here to talk about the free hip hop masterclass workshop that's happening this weekend. And we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the village of South Glens Falls will not be able to replace its deteriorating water pipes this year. South Glens Falls is one of the many towns in the area that has a serious infrastructure problem. Well, in an attempt to rece receive state grants to replace their water pipes, the village needed the 450 housing units in the village to fill out an income survey. Well, check this out. Unfortunately, they fell short by four households. And South Glens Falls will now have to wait until next year to apply for the new state grants for households. Well, we're going to keep you updated on further details and other stories that involve the current infrastructure crisis that's in our region. In other news, well, an enhanced playground for children with mental and physical challenges was created in honor of Caitlin Bauman. Now, Caitlin was diagnosed at the age of three with stage two Batten disease, a recessive generic disease. Well, the playground was funded by the town of Wilton, as well as a fundraiser started by Caitlin's mother, Rebecca Bauman. Now, many attended the event, including town officials, Assemblywoman Carrie Werner, as well as a number of Caitlin's friends. Well, the playground in Gavin Park in Wilton will stand as a symbol and testament to the persistence of human beings, even when they're wrought with life-crippling diseases. Now, we spoke to Assemblywoman Carrie Werner about this great event. The fact that, that now we, that kids can have, all kids can have the joy of swinging on the swings and, and sliding down the slide and spending the day at the playground. Well, switching from news to weather. Well, today saw mostly overcast skies with a chance of thunderstorms and rain that might come later tonight. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, a mobile home in Wilton caught fire early this morning at about 6 a.m. Now, although it is still an ongoing investigation, it is believed that the fire started due to an electrical malfunction in the back of the home. Well, up to five fire departments responded to the call. Now, fortunately, no one was hurt. We spoke to Bill Morgan. He's the chief of Wilton Fire Department. At 6 o'clock this morning, we uh, got a call for a structure fire in the mobile home park. On arrival, we found a working fire. Two occupants of the building had gotten out. In addition to Wilton Fire, we had Wilton EMS here, Gansford Fire, Maple Avenue Fire, and South Coast Falls Fire. County Cause and Origin team is presently investigating it. It does not appear to be suspicious, but the cause is not yet determined. No, oh, thankfully nobody was hurt. In other news, the Silks and Satins 5K race took place in Saratoga Springs this past weekend. Now, the fundraiser brought in about $20,000 to benefit the athletes of the Special Olympics of New York. Now, we spoke to Jen Frame. She's a director of development for the Special Olympics of New York. We have over 67,000 athletes that this is going to help. Um, Special Olympics really appreciate Saratoga and their community for coming out today. Congratulations, Jen. Well, up next, I sit down with Jerry Carlson. 
He's the chief of forest health for the Department of Environmental Conservation of New York. And he's here to talk about the issue of invasive species in our area. It's a great interview. Please stay uh, around for it. Also, I also sit down with Diane Labruzzo. She's the president and artistic director of the Adirondack School of Ballet. And she's here to talk about the free hip hop masterclass that's happening this weekend at City Park in Glens Falls. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I got a couple of lookouts tonight. Uh, this one goes to Norm, our engineer. Norm and I on Sunday morning, this is an ugly story, so I'm not taking you through the details, but we had to install an air conditioner that weighs hundreds of pounds up on the top of West Mountain to protect our transmitter. And of course, we get up there, we unpack the whole thing, go to put it in, and it doesn't work. So I went to Best Buy this morning, and Jean and Marjorie, they get to look out because they could not have been more helpful. Really appreciate it. This was an ugly story, and they were there to help to get us a new air conditioner so we can install that one and get the old one back to them, et cetera, et cetera. Hey, the other one, Saturday you probably noticed the weather was horrendous. Well, my wife and I were on a boat on Lake George when all hell broke loose. It was hail and four foot swells and whatever, and a couple of guys in a catamaran capsized. Well, myself and another boat made sure that these guys were okay. We went back to the Hague dock to get the sheriff's boat out to get them, and the next day we went by their dock next to Mallory Island, and we saw the sailboat, but we didn't see them. Now, we didn't get their names, but their wives were Lynn and Evelyn. So we just hoped that you guys survived, everything was fine. We figured if we saw the boat that you were okay. That was some storm on Saturday. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's beyond the headlines and a bunch of episodes of our music show tracks. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.